Welcome back to the Tide Germ Hanger. This is Mike, and today I want to come at you with a quick update of the Super 7 Ultimates G.I. Joe Wave 1 and Silver Hawks Wave 2. We've got pictures. They're not the best pictures in the world, but you can see what you want. I'll tell you what I see here, what I think about this stuff, and it's important. It's important. Why? Because some of these are showing up in stock at BBTS for me, and I've shipped my stack. I went ahead and blew my stack on shipping these. Uh, got excited, <laughs> overexcited and shipped my stack. But what does it look like? We haven't actually seen these. There's no reviews yet. There might be by the time I'm finished making this video, but I haven't seen anyone do a review yet. I haven't seen even any pictures of real production other than prototypes, and you can't count prototypes. That's been an issue with some of the other ones with Super 7, but this is the real deal in hand images. We're going to look at this. Also, a real quick update and a poll from Rom and Toy about their Marshall. And so a lot of fun stuff going on. I'll cover a couple of minor news bits in this video also coming up. All right, so I'm going to lead off talking about the Silverhawks. Now, this is wave one. We are not going to get wave one yet. We are getting it, but not yet. We're going to get wave two first and... I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, well, it doesn't make sense. How is Wave 1 coming out after Wave 2? And the thing is that things happen, right? But this isn't the first time it's happened with Super 7. And I'm not upset about it, but other people might be. These are important characters to have in your collection, obviously. And the only one that really upsets me the most about this, of course, is still Heart. Because we already have a Silverhawk and a Monstar. Uh, the, the other one over there, the Buzzsaw or Razor or whatever, Buzzsaw, we can hold off on that guy. So Wave 2 is in stock, and I am shipping what they've made available for me, and that is Steel Wheel and the Windhammer figure. So the reason mine, I, this is why I think mine aren't coming in stock at the same time, because I pre ordered a couple here and a couple of TF Source. And I decided to consolidate all into one. And so I've got them all coming from here. TF Source really isn't so big into the action figures. They're more into the Transformers and stuff. So I'll just consolidate my action figures all to BBTS. So it's all coming from one spot. So with that, some of my pre-orders are months apart. Meaning that they got to work through all their other pre-orders. For me, I don't know how your experience is going. First picture I'm going to put up here is Monstar. Now this Monstar is interesting and cool because this is how he is before he does his transformation with the moon star of limbo so he is the smaller mon star and then he gets into the bigger mon star uh it comes with three heads he's got all this stuff right here so so the, this is not the best picture uh, some of these other pictures are actually better than this but i do want to show the difference between the two so the render on the left is what it was gonna look like, and on the right is what you're actually getting. So it looks like the little dude is a lot smaller. His little companion on the right is a lot smaller and has less paint apps than what we were gonna get before in the render. And the whole position of everything is different. So, I mean, I understand all of that and the render is just the render, but this is the real deal. This is kind of how you know it's got the real deal. Uh, does the face look good? I, it looks pretty good here. I don't really see any paint up issues, but of course this is a bad picture, probably the worst picture out of all of them. So we're just going to take a quick look at this and now move on. Next up we have Windhammer side by side with the render. And I, I think this looks pretty close. Obviously, they've done dual layers on this, and so am I okay with we get a render and it doesn't look like dual layer and then it comes out as dual layer? Yeah, I'm okay with that because we know they've done this before, dual layers, and when they pack so much crud in there, then how else are they going to do it? So uh, I think it looks silly, though, putting all the hands in the front. That's weird. Having all the hands in the front would have been kind of fun to see his tuning fork up front and to see maybe the other head or the lightning effect or something, not just... 20 hands up front but he does have soft goods which the soft goods don't come through very well as soft goods in this and i'm sure once you get him out of the package you would adjust his soft goods dress thing he's wearing there so i do think it looks pretty good here uh does does kind of suck with his head is kind of looking up instead of straight forward if you're a mint package collector that would probably get on your nerves because i know i'm mostly a mint package collector for modern stuff but these look really good. So anyway, I still think it looks good. I think this is going to be a win. I'm hoping for it being a win. When I get it in, of course, I'm going to do a review on it. 
Now we get into Steel Wheel. This is our first look at a production version of a Silverhawk from them. So the rest were prototypes, hand painted, or even test samples. And I'm gonna tell you it's not as shiny as I think it should be. Even if it's bare bones plastic and it's not painted, it should be shinier than this, in my opinion. In my opinion. Now, the cartoon itself wasn't that shiny. The tone of blue is different, it's brighter. I actually like the brighter tone of blue that we see on the in-hand image versus the duller, like, is it duller? The duller blue in the render, so I'm liking that. Now, the layout of all of the stuff, and it's a ton of accessories. The layout of the ton of accessories in there is a little bit different than what you see in the picture, but uh, still pretty exciting, pretty fun. I'm stoked for this because because adding these to the team, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. And yeah, they are 55 bucks each, though. Um, that, that spoils the fun a little bit. So at first, I was thinking this looks closest to <laughs> his render than most of the rest of these. And then I get to looking a little bit closer, and I realize, no, it doesn't. It's uh, the hats on them, <laughs> which is cool. I'm, it's cool they packed them with the hat on. I like that, actually, versus the render. So that's pretty cool, too. Because uh, if you want to see him without his hat on, you've got the other two heads, right? And then he's got multiple different bird options and multiple different guitar options and all of that good stuff. So that's pretty cool uh, looking at it like that. And I do want to point out that his frame is way more slender than we see with the render. So that's something else that I think is kind of different. But I'm excited for it. I wish this one would have been in stock. I want to kind of complete my team as quick as I can just actually have a team on the shelf. And this one, for me, because I went ahead and pre-ordered through BBTS later, isn't ready for it to ship. So uh, I'm looking forward to all of these. But looking at this, I think it's not bad looking. I wished it was shinier. I wish it was vac metalized chrome and all of that. And and I, I have a sinking feeling we're going to get that in a reissue down the road. For the Joes, we're going to start with Duke. And I've got to say, I mean, this is this is my honest opinion for looking at these for a long three to four minutes. <laughs> I haven't really had these in hand that long. I think the head, especially the one that's on them, looks fantastic. I don't know about the yelling one so much. I think that the actual product looks better, more cartoon accurate or more what I feel is Duke than the render. Now, the eyes themselves, I can't tell the paint on the eyes, but the actual sculpt of the face looks better to me than the render does to me. And it looks more tune accurate to me. He's got that that nice uh, pronounced chin and all that kind of stuff going on there. And the figure itself does look pretty good. And the colors seem to look pretty good. The uh, green on his gun looks a little washed out, in my opinion. But that could also be a picture thing. The backpack looks better, in my opinion, on the in-hand image. And then the rest looks, you know, so-so. So with this, I think it does look like a good release. I'm excited for this Duke whenever he comes into stock. Again, Duke is what I was going to get from TF Source. Now I'm getting it from BBTS. So mine isn't in stock yet. Next, I'm going to do Cobra Commander versus the render. And, well, I, I'm, I'm going to say that I think the render looks perfectly fantastic. The real one looks different. It's It still looks good. I still think it looks good. But I don't think it looks as good as the render. I think that the... Uh, if you look at the neckline where he has the undershirt, that goes uh, up a little higher on the on the actual in-hand one, but the render shows it going down a little bit lower. I don't know which one I like better, but it's just different. It's just a difference that I noticed. And then looking at the leg, I think that the leg tapers off better in the render, but maybe it's the angle that the figures put into the package. Aside from that, I think he looks fantastic. I do think that the uh, face is shinier the face plate is shinier than what I was going to expect, but it's still not vac metalized chrome, which it should be in my opinion, but I'm still very stoked about this. And, and I have to say, this does look better in my opinion than what we're going to be getting from the classifieds with the, his tank. So all the accessories in there look pretty good and seeing the render to the real world on the accessories, you know, that to me, that's just not really, uh, th they look fine. I don't see any issues with any of the accessories in here that are real world versus what we saw with the render. And then now he's got his cape on instead of off. And I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that so much. Uh, I, I really wouldn't mind them packing the cape separate because it looks a little weird the way they have it packed in there because it's on him, but it's tucked behind plastic. So anyway, let's move on. 
feeling a little batty, you want to see the original true bat, then you need to go watch The Flash because you're going to have Michael Keaton Batman. But this is the Battle Android Trooper. And so I already own this figure except in blue for the comic version. So I already know exactly what I'm getting with this. But I'm starting to wonder if there's going to be some changes with it because he's going to have a different backpack and all that kind of stuff. And the in-hand image doesn't really show the backpack. It just shows the massive slew of accessories. I feel like maybe I'm wrong. Man, I got to go check mine. There's more accessories in here. So still, it's exciting uh, release. I had to accidentally pre-order two of these. I own, I canceled one. So I'm sticking with one bet for now for 55 bucks. I mean, I, I can't true build this dude uh, for 55 bucks each. I hope someplace like Entertainment Earth eventually has a sale and they got them cheaper for like 30 or something. I'd get a couple more, but I got to get one at least to start it out. So looking at it, the face mask is not as shiny as the render. And with that, I'm okay with it. I'm actually fine with that. It's just something I noticed that's different. And uh, I do like the really shiny silver that's on it. It's shinier than the render. And everything in the chest piece and all that kind of stuff, all that looks great. So uh, this is a really nice looking figure. And I will like this one way better than the comic version. All right, so we got Snake Eyes and Timber versus the render. Now, for whatever reason, Timber is in the front. And uh, the backpack is super bright purple, uh, which is fine with me. It matches the... That matches the paint that they used on him and all that kind of stuff. And uh, his container looks more cartoon accurate. I think that they did... So here's what they do. They put the renders and they do this stuff and then they get in the samples in hand and they go, no, 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 I don't like this. I want it to look more like this. I want it to look more like that. That's what they do. And that's what all the companies do. Every, every company does that. And Hasbro does it. Mattel does it. Uh, they all do it. Rama Toy does it. They, they get it in hand. They say, nope, I, I, I want a different color. And you know maybe that was their original thought was we want it to look like this render and then they're like nope nope i want to change this to that this that and that's just how they do it that's why they're so much different i i love the look of this for 55 bucks versus what hasbro's given to you for uh 43 dollars so use 13 dollars more so then the price difference between this is very narrow from a super seven to what hasbro's doing with their pack the 43 42 43 dollar packs so it's they're narrowing that gap a lot versus say a duke which is you you can get it you could get a duke for 20 is what i paid for my duke but duke's 55 it's 35 dollar difference it's a 13 dollar difference so this is a definite value and i wasn't going to get it because i didn't really care about the blue version of him but the value is there for this guy okay a couple of miscellaneous items i do want to talk about ramen toy and uh the the marshal now this is their take on a uh, Brave Star ish <laughs> toy line. I hope they do tons of characters. There are only nine nine figures got made for this line. They, they, they could have made 30 or 40 characters, 50 characters. I just hope that Ramen Toy is successful with this line and gets out a multitude of different characters that never got made before. But you got to start with the main character. And then the, after this, they're doing what's called 3 0, which is a 30 30 lookalike. And uh, there's going to be supposedly going to be a story, a comic, and all that kind of stuff that is associated with this. But I do want to point out that there is a current uh, poll for this. I'm going to try to link it down below. It's a Facebook poll. What you want his uh, chest piece to look like. And you want the white or the blue. But but truthfully, what everybody's saying is, is the exact same thing. They want it to look as close to the cartoon accurate as possible. And so there's sh people are showing pictures of the cartoon and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see what happens with that. I think that the renders look great where they're at, but yes, I want it to match cartoon the best that they can. So I'll link that down below. Raman sent me this video showing basically how their vehicle, their red gull wing is going to operate. It shows how, you know, the wings pop, all that stuff pops up on, the, on there. I want to say that this is extremely solid and this is the i believe their third revision of it because they want it to be super duper solid they don't want it to be floppy like the kenner my kenners i have six kenner ones they're all floppy uh i've been able to like spin the springs a bit get a little bit more out of it but at the end of the day this is going to be vastly better than any of these old Kenner ones because they're all worn out. Even new in the package, that spring's been compressed for all these years. It doesn't have the same popping power. And so this is designed different, of course, designed to a higher level. And so with that, I do look forward to it. Lastly, I do have some news about this figure Obscura. Now, I well, I didn't check it now, but I've checked when I pre-ordered mine. 
fourteen dollars down. It's not going to come out till twenty twenty four. It's like a year away, so uh, that's kind of crazy. Okay, so this pre order is going to be fully open for a while. You get fourteen dollars non refundable down payment at BBTS, and there's like seventeen places to pre order this, but not available till first quarter of twenty twenty four. So you're you're basically waiting until next year to get this thing, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, it's 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 awesome. I, I missed out on the first go-around, but I think these colors look better, so I'm in on it. But you know what really... It's really strange because I'm barely in on this, and I'm starting to wonder how I'll feel about it in 2024. So it's the stuff that I'm super hardcore behind. I know I'll love, but this is something that's kind of like, eh, it would have been nice to have gotten it a little earlier than first quarter of 2024. So anyway, what do you think about this reveal of Super 7 and the comparison to their renders and all that kind of stuff? And let me know if this was helpful for you to make your decision whether you're in or out. Just say no. Just say yes. <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Tell Darren Hanger out.